Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Chill, No Man's Sky. So, we're going to go ahead and finish off the purge. So, let's go ahead and take off. We're going to go ahead and jump six more times. See if we can figure out what's going on out here. There we go. So, we're going to go ahead and finish off the story, basically. Well, the Atlas path of the story, I should say. We're going to go ahead and finish that up. That is one long warp. Sheesh. Hyperdrive has no fuel. Excuse you. I know it does. Hold on. Hold up. Wait a second. Yeah, my other hyperdrive has the fuel. Fine, I guess I'll just have to take my warp cell and transfer that back to my ship. So, that's a nice here. Alright, so let's zoom out a bit. Boom. There she is. So what I'm thinking is, after I do the Atlas Path, I'll go ahead and do some of the the other stuff for the side missions. You know, getting the submarines and all that stuff to get the underwater base going. I'll do some more missions with my good friend, uh, Eosephic, so that way we can get some of the online play stuff going. But after that, I think it'll just be playing random missions and building stuff and just venting about my week or my day, however it goes. Right, let's go ahead and warp. I gotta remember to go ahead and uninstall that second warp engine, because there's no need to have two. Alright, so we're gonna warp to here. Data injection. That it? Alright, well, I guess it's just that's it. Time to keep warping then. Is this where the Atlas path ends? On that blue planet? On the blue star system, I should say? Let's go. I have no problem doing this, just. Warping in and warping out. I have zero qualms with this. again just repeat warps keep doing this until I make it to the end of this path oh that's a Corvax station okay Got what, maybe three more works to go?
the longest voyage. Hmm. I've warped over 40 times. Nice. Yeah, that's what that longest voyage achievement was for. That's fine. The 14 purge. Okay, I got two more warps to get all the data sequencing. So do that one. And then I think it's another four warps to get to the actual end of the journey, essentially. So it'll be interesting. I get to decide the fate of the universe effectively. Whoa, what? What is this? Are these rings I'm flying through? Oh, okay, that's gotta be rings from this planet. Holy moly. Noxious planet. I was like, what in the world? That looked seriously wobbly. Okay, yeah, it was the rings, okay. That's what that was. Let's see. So what am I going to have to get rid of here, though? I have a lot of everything. Hmm. Whatever. Let's just go ahead and warp again. We are almost to our goal here. Okay, that's fine. I got two more sequences to go. So two more warps and I should be, wow, that looks a lot like Earth. And never mind, it's charred. I don't know how it's charred and it's blue from the surface, but that's a thing, I guess. And it's a barren planet. All right, we got two more warps to go. And then we'll be there. crazy I've never actually done this like gotten to the end of the Atlas path in any playthrough of No Man's Sky so it, it's it's kind of nerve-wracking for me and it, it's a big moment effect of ooh, an overgrown planet hold on time out I was about to start babbling on but I like these planets I love overgrown planets so on this planet everything Trees, plants, and all that other stuff should be gigantic. Alright, come on. Actually have land so I can actually enjoy this. Don't just be all ocean. Yes. Perfect. There seems to be a firestorm going on outside for whatever reason. But yeah, what I was going to say is, story-wise, I've never actually gone this far. So it's something entirely new for me, and it's it almost feels like the end of a journey for me playing this game. Not that I'm going to stop playing the game, I'm still going to love playing it. But it's kind of like when you play Minecraft and you, you know, you make it to the end, and you beat the Ender Dragon, and what do you do after that? Just keep building. That's all you can do after that, it's just build some more stuff they, they, like you can fight you know I think it's called gas to whatever that is which is basically like the opposite it's supposed to be the beginning kind of thing as MatPat put it as in a theory but that's it 
That's all it is. That's all you get. And in No Man's Sky, it's like, yeah, you got some more story now coming out. You know, the stories of the deep and, you know, the Atlas path and the other path that you could take and other stuff like that. Yeah, that's cool. It's actually rather fun. Okay, here we go. So what goes on here? I saw a weird glitch there. What is a hermetic seal in silver? A rotting planet. Yikes. So what am I supposed to do? Locate and enter the final portal. Energy surge detected. Ley line. There it is. The final portal has been discovered. Let's go ahead and hit this final portal then. Of course it's on the rotting planet. The final portal to the end of the universe is on the planet that's dead. That's no surprise. At least to me anyway. It might not be dead, it might just be toxic. I'm ow. Jesus. Yeah, it's definitely a toxic planet. It would have been funny to me if it was a barren planet. There we go. Oh, I gotta recharge everything, of course. Why does that not surprise me? Let's see if I can recharge everything in one go. Definitely not. Okay, so I need I feel a little vulnerable, a little exposed. That hydrogen powerful man beard. Deutrium. The hydrogen and deutrium. But that's just the hydrogen in general. That's hydrogen. Yes, that'll do. Alright, here we go. The end portal. Ooh, just shy, just shy. So what I was thinking of doing, since this will probably be the end of the story stuff, minus, you know, the missions of the deep and all that, I'll do the missions of the deep still, but I'll end up doing that in multiplayer mode along with the multiplayer missions and, you know, doing other stuff. I will have, you know, let's chill PC building simulator coming back up now that I actually have some time to you know, play more with that game. I wish they would actually give us more stuff in that game to enjoy. Come on, open the portal. Open. Everything's fully charged. 16. 16. 16. Atlas protocol initiated. 16. 16. 16. The portal shimmers as I look at it, never quite resting long enough for my eyes to fully process. I must focus. 16. 16. 16. Atlas protocol initiated. 16. 16. 16. The portal shimmers as I look at it, never quite resting long enough for my eyes to process it fully. I must focus. Activate the portal. I said that already. 16. 16. 16. That's what I Do I have to do this 16 times? Don't. Don't you do that. Four. No, it's doing it again. I thought I was having to do something with the number 16, but I guess not. I must focus. Leave. Why did the portal not activate? I located the portal already. What? Is the game glitchy? Is the game bugging out on me? Yep, 16, 16, 16. Protocol initiated. Must focus, activate portal. Alright. Pop out, restore point save, top back in. Reload. the portal already have yep portal's 
activated. 16, 16, 16, Atlas protocol initiated. 16, 16, 16. Yep, never resting long enough. I must focus. Activate. No, let's do it again. Oh, I love this. This is fun. Fun, 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 fun. Alright, let me, let me see something. I'm gonna hop on out of here. Hey, stop. Stop. Plan. 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 Jesus. Dang near killed yourself. Man, I was so excited to get to the Atlas Station, too. Alright. Now, there's something different I could do here. Maybe I'm not supposed to do it there. Path to the Atlas Station. How far away is it? Maybe I'm supposed to do that at the Atlas Station. I don't know. Let me try something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just jump to the Atlas Station, see if that works. This would honestly stink if I can't do the final mission because of some weird bug that just exists. See, this to me is a problem. Alright, so you know what? I'm going to go ahead and leave the episode off here. I'm going to figure out if that's a real bug or if it's just goofing up on me. But in either case, guys, I know the episode was kind of short. I didn't talk much. It was just mostly warping. But I can't really progress any further without it. So I'll figure that out for the next episode. Which will be hopefully up by tomorrow. And if not, it'll be Let's Play PC Building Simulator instead. So I hope to catch you all here next time on Let's Chill, No Man's Sky. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit the subscribe button if you're already subscribed. And join the Curly Crew. And I will catch you all here next time. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.